I got to get into the vibe, y'all. Yep. Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to Lily's World Shazam, and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new to my channel, my name is Lily, and today we have a guest, my little sister Claude. Today we're bringing you another tutorial. Before we get started though, if you are, or you know someone who's going through some hard time, especially if you're feeling suicidal, or you know someone who's feeling suicidal, there's hope out there. There are resources that can help you to overcome whatever you've gone through. There's nothing in this world that does not have a solution. So with that being said, I am going to supply you with the National Suicide Hotline. It's going to be in the description box below. You never know, you could be saving either your life or somebody else's life. With that being said, today's <laughs> star of the dish is none other than We are making lasagna today. So for the sake of thumbnail, come on, baby girl. <laughs> Too much, but anyway. So yeah, we are making lasagna today. And so, if you're ready like we are, let's get started. <laughs> This looks so <laughs> scrumptious, delicious. I mean, yes. I mean, how did we get here, though? Let's just take a look at how we started from the beginning till we got to this delicious looking, um, yes, lasagna. Okay. Look at that. Whew. Okay. So let's jump right into so it. So for our ingredients today, we have the star of the dish itself, of course, lasagna. We're going to use spinach. We need to be a little bit healthy, so we're going to use some spinach in this dish. We caught a cheese. We're going to use some chicken. So it's going to be chicken lasagna, so it's already pre-seasoned. So you can use whatever you want. You can use ground beef. Most people use ground beef, but sometimes we don't always eat beef so today we just add the chicken so that's the seasoned chicken of course how does it so we're gonna set our temperature the oven temperature to 375 yep while we prep everything else here are all the ingredients that we are going to need all together so now I am going to cook the chicken first followed by the spinach so that is my onion with some green bell peppers so yeah let's cook this chicken so yeah and once the chicken is done like it is now we are going to pour it out and kind of set it aside so that we can cook this spinach so in the same saucepan we are going to cook this spinach okay so a little bit of oil now that's that spinach is frozen so and it's okay you know so that's some garlic salt that i'm adding to it and my chicken bouillon yes i cook everything with chicken bouillon <laughs> i mean the seasoning is good why not so ricotta cheese we're going to use some of the ricotta cheese on this spinach right now so it's all set and done. look at the color look at that beautiful wow this is nice now we are going to pour out the spinach and Okay. 
now we're going to mix the tomatoes together and we are going to make our first layer of lasagna which is going to be the sauce followed by yep the uh, lasagna now these are oven ready lasagna so if you're going to get rid of lasagna make sure it's oven ready so that's oven ready so yeah um so then after that we're going to do the spinach I like the oven ready because I don't have to boil the uh, regular lasagna and go through the sh struggle. So all the moisture from the spinach, everything else is going to cook the uh, the lasagna. So yeah, then the second layer. Ooh, that looks so good. <laughs> then add more sauce. I love lots of sauce, lots of cheese in my lasagna. Spread it out and then add my chicken. Yes. That chicken by itself was what in the world? <laughs> yep, and then add the ricotta cheese. The chicken by itself was really good though. I mean, you could use it to make like sandwiches or whatever. You know, yeah. All right, I'm gonna add my last layer of lasagna, and that lasagna looks packed. It's yes, it's packed. <laughs> yeah, if this is your first time again to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. I want to know what you think about my videos or just whatever you want to share. And if you have a recipe, please drop it in the comment box, I will recreate it for you. Trust me, trust me, I will. I love to do things like that. So, we ran out of cheese, so I had to go look for some more cheese. So, yeah, mm. yeah, and finally got some. There you go. Yep, lots of cheese. Oh, yeah. That all looks good. I mean, that looks good. Okay, now we are going to cover it up so that we can um put it in the oven. So, yep. All set. Oven time. Yes. Let's put it in the oven. And let's have a little fun. Yeah. Shake that booty. Shake that booty. Okay, girl. Stop it. <laughs> okay. 45 minutes later. And voila. This is done. Done, done, done. <laughs> she's in the zone. She doesn't know what's going on. I'm recording her. She's just like in the zone. <laughs> Daydreaming. Yeah. Okay, girl. Let's get back to work. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Okay, now we are going to open the lasagna. So, it is, all, it is all done. Okay, so let's see what we have. Yes, girl. Woo Voila. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Woo! God, that looks so good. Oh my gosh. I am so She was so hungry. Look at that. Oh my God, that looks so good. <laughs> Look at her face. She was so hungry. I was like, no, not you. Don't eat yet. You can't eat now. And she was like, what? Yeah, so she wasn't so happy about that. But look, <laughs> she's waiting patiently. But yes. That looks so good. Look at that. I mean, oh my goodness. Look at that. Yes. Lasagna, homemade lasagna from scratch. Yeah, who knew? <laughs> who knew this African girl, this African girl can cook lasagna like Italian people, huh? <laughs> what was that? Anyway, yes. And voila. You know the rest.
that is delicious and it was it was so good so good look at that yes now it's always my pleasure to bring you guys some recipes and I'm just like, I love what I do. I love cooking. And I'm going to continue bringing you guys recipes, you know. Whatever I think about, I bring it. See you next time on my next tutorial.